Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to pick an IP address to assign to your network printer. Now, when you're setting up a network printer, you do want to assign an IP address to it. You do not want to let it get an, an address automatically. The reason for that, if you're letting it get an IP address automatically, if you have a power outage or if you turn the printer off or it becomes disconnected for any reason, Whenever you turn it back on, it could very well get a different address and you may lose communications to your printer. Now, this video is actually to show you how to find the IP address. To do this, we need to find out what your DHCP range is. DHCP is simply an acronym for a server that assigns IP addresses to different devices as they connect to your network. This is usually done through your wireless router. Uh, this is usually done from your wireless router. Now if you work for a corporation or with a school or something on those lines that actually has an IT department, you're going to want to stop and consult with your IT department. They'll be more than able to help you pick an IP address and even assign it to your printer and install your printer for you. If this is a small business or a home based business, uh, what you're going to want to do first is locate your DHCP server. Now, as I stated before, this is usually on your router. Your router is almost always going to be your default gateway. Now, to find this, just click on Start, go to All Programs, Accessories, and Command Prompt. Once you're here, just type in IP Config, all one word, IPCONFIG, and hit the Enter key. Now, when it shows this information, the IP address is the IP address of this computer. The subnet mask is the range of addresses, basically. This number is important, but not for looking up the IP address. Your default gateway, however, is, like I say, almost always going to be the address of your router. Once we know this address, the easiest way to locate this, we're going to start our web browser. And up in the very top, I'm going to type in the IP address of the default gateway, 192.168.1.1. Now this is coming up asking me for username and password. If you get this and you don't know what this is, look in the documentation that came with your router. It should tell you what the default username and password is to access the router. Now I have not changed mine. Um, this one is a Linksys router and it's admin admin. I'm going to hit log in here. And next we're going to find the DHCP server information which is located right here on this particular router. Now it's always going to be in the basic setup information. Different routers are going to display this differently. But you do want to look for the words DHCP server with address ranges. Now here, I'm showing them a static IP address is 192.168.1.1. That's the address of the router. My starting IP address here is the starting IP address for the DHCP server. In this case, it's 192.168.1.100, which when we look back here before, we notice this computer is .101, which tells me that it is assigned an IP address from the server. It's not one that's set. I'm also going to notice here it says the maximum number of DHCP users is 50. What this means is any address between 192.168.1.100 and 192.168.1.150 are going to be DHCP addresses. So we want to find an address that is not in that range. Now each network range will have numbers going from 1 to 255. Since 1 is assigned to the router, that means we have from 2 to 99 that is not used by DHCP, and then we have from 151 to 255 that's not used by DHCP server. A good safe address here would be maybe 192.168.1.200. Since the DHCP range stops at 150, 200 is too high for a device to be assigned an IP address from the DHCP server. 
So in this case, I would start my first printer, I would assign 200, the next one I would assign 201, next one 202, and so forth. Once you have this information, just keep everything written down as you assign an IP address. Keep a list of what device has what IP address. And in the future, if you have, need another IP address, just look at your list and grab the next number in the list. If you have any questions about anything in this video or anything else that we support at Condi Systems, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 or send us an email to support at condi.com.